Okay, now let, let us start making on the electric circuit of our MEC. So, for let us first call to wires. Make sure that we need two pieces of wires. Uh, one for the circuit and the other to supply electricity. So, now let's cut it. Okay. So, we have cut it. Now, we will just attach one wire. We will just defold it and we will attach one wire to the electrodes and the other wire to the uh, other electrode for sure and the other end would directly go here will directly go here to the end of the multimeter so that we could uh, measure the voltage and and etc what way and also we are going to provide some amount of electric charge to the bacteria this is a condition to make hydrogen gas so the another piece that we have cut is for anode chamber providing some electric voltage to the bacteria the voltage will combine with the electricity generated and will increase the quantity of hydrogen gas as we lack here to measure the hydrogen gas and also it takes some time to generate so we will just show you the setup and you can uh, try it and conclude the results with the pop sound okay now i am just so that of the wires as you can see here now we will just attach the wires to the electrodes then for this now okay we, now i will just tape it up here and i will just tie it okay, okay so i have just attached it here now I will do same here. It's just a basic basic thing which everyone knows how to attach, but we have to actually show it. Okay, so now we have connected and we will now put this electrodes into our MEC. Okay, so now let's open it up. Okay, now we will just uh, place it into our anode and our cathode. Okay, now I will place it here carefully. And now I will just put it here like this. And I will just tighten the lid up. And now one thing you have to make sure is that your electrode remains in the middle part. It neither touches the base of the chamber nor it gets cross lighted like this. It must be in such an idle position. Okay, now we, I will just uh, apply clay on it so to make uh, to maintain its airtight and also to keep it static at one place in a good manner okay now i will just make it and make sure that you wrap it uh, in pretty tight layer nicely Okay, so we have wrapped it up here. Okay, so our anode chamber is ready. Okay, now let's uh, fit out another electron also. Do the same process here. And now, note one thing also, same of both electrodes are exactly straight, they are not slanted, they are not you, anything, it's just perfectly straight. So make sure that you also do the same, because if it is slanted, then it may break up in the middle and cause a new problems in a project. Okay, so now I will just apply some clay on it. Okay. Yeah, in this way. I 
then make sure you wrap it with clay so that the wire will be remain straight also okay now for the change i'm uh, telling you one thing that we should make a cathode chamber here completely airtight because from this solvent the hydrogen atom will travel and here the hydrogen atoms would be formed and uh, to ma uh, make sure that uh, you avoid the flow of the air inside this chamber or water might get formed as hydrogen will combine with the oxygen so now here i will just wrap this clay around the lid of the the lid lid so that none of the air enters it and it's cathode chamber don't uh, get confused between the colors and and it's cathode okay now i will just wrap it i will now skip this part and um, we'll just wrap it here and we'll uh, continue uh, next step okay